What up, AD? I'm Nigel Houston. Welcome to my home. Come on in. I feel like over the years I've uh, realized I've gravitated towards this modern contemporary style of house. So that was definitely my inspiration when remodeling it. I love the style of it, the architecture on the outside, and I saw it had a lot of potential on the inside as well. I was really hyped to be able to move to Laguna Beach. It's obviously an amazing place. My mom lives here as well, so I was hyped for that. All right, so this right here is the living room. Definitely my favorite place to chill and relax. Got the comfortable cloud couch right here. A lot of plants throughout the house. I love nature, I love plants, so I wanted them all over the place. This room was way different when I moved in. It actually wasn't even considered the living room. The room over there on the other side, which we'll check out in a sec. There wasn't even a TV here or anything, and I thought it was weird. I thought this was obviously the best place for a living room since you got this nice view right here. We uh, definitely improved on that a lot. This view was definitely one of the things that sold me on the house. It's not too clear today. It's clear like till the ocean and then it's kind of foggy out there, but on a really clear day, you can see Catalina really well and amazing sunsets. Oh, this Raptor, um, had it for a while now actually. I think it also came from my last home. Randomly saw it in the store and liked the style of it. I feel like it describes me well. <laughs> All right, this right here is the trophy room. This is for sure my favorite and most meaningful room in the house. Always wanted to have an actual full room dedicated to uh, all my trophies and wins, and this room fit perfect for it. Um, got all this shelving put in. Thank God none of them have fell yet. It seems like it holds it up pretty well because some of these things are actually really heavy. There's so many memories in this room. It's crazy. The best memories are for sure just the intense competition and those gnarly ones where it comes down to that last trick and rolling away and knowing that uh, you came out with the win and the championship. Yeah, this one right here was the first ever championship trophy and this one's like was too heavy to go on those shelves. Right here is kind of a special thing for being uh, introduced to the 2020 Olympic team. First time ever skateboarding being in the Olympics. 2020 July, I definitely have a good chance of being there. So you guys will see me there. Let's see, this right here was like my first ever article in a skateboard magazine and it was in Thrasher magazine. I'm sure you guys have heard of that before. Definitely the best skateboard mag, the most most respected. So this, is, this was a really big point in my young years right here, nine years old. Everything happened so fast for me, it was crazy. This was one of my favorite tricks I've ever done before. It's called the Switch Front Feeble. It's Hollywood High School, 16 stair. That was actually the second time I had to come back to try it the first time I cracked my head open, kind of, and got, got a few staples in my head, so that was pretty gnarly. Right here we got the kitchen, white quartz on the counters. I wanted to do marble, but my mom suggested to not do it because she knew it would get all stained and stuff eventually. Love the way this kitchen turned out. Um, this little area right here, it was already here, but it was just designed in a way different way. It used to like come up right here and it was just kind of ugly before and it's a comfortable spot to chill, eat breakfast or whatever. We got this nice gray distressed leather. This was way before, I think it was even a little different when I bought it, but this was kind of what it was like before. Looks like a totally different house than now, it's crazy. I don't cook that often, my roommate does. I'm not too much of a cook. Now I feel like when I have friends over, it's, we like kind of gravitate in, into hanging out in here a little bit too, it's around this area, it's comfy. This side, I guess you would call it the game room, hangout room. Got some nice black marble right here. As soon as I saw this, I was like, damn, I definitely need this somewhere in the house, it's so nice. Oh yeah, this thing, <laughs> this thing I feel like just fits so well right here. We had to put it right there. And then pool table, I like playing pool. I'm actually pretty good at it. This room was completely different before. This is actually the room that was considered the living room when I first got the house. This was the best way to utilize the space, build this bar, same marbles over there. This is for sure one of my favorite areas of the house. It turned out so, so nice. I'm so hyped on it. Not everything in here I picked out. You know, my mom helped out a lot with it too. She would kind of send me options of stuff and she also knows what I like. So it was nice working with her on it. That's really my favorite style is like this clean mixture of black and white and grays, but then also some of the browns and distress colors, like the mixture of those colors and stuff is my favorite style. Getting a permit to build a pool back here as well, infinity pool. Laguna Beach is super strict on that stuff, so it might take a while, but I have faith. This is my favorite dirt bike right here. 
This thing is fully built up. Dirt bikes are my favorite thing to do aside from skateboarding. I normally like to keep mellow on the trails and be out in nature. Yeah, this stairway right here, it's actually one of the only parts of the house that kind of looks the same when I bought it. And it was one of the things that I liked most about it because it kind of reminds me of me. And I mean, this is something that I would totally want to skate if it was a spot out in the streets. Yeah, this wall right here, this curve to it, made it really nice to put these boards going up the wall. Yeah, these are some of my signature favorite graphics that I've had throughout the years. A couple of them are just random team boards like this one, which has a cool random design to it. All right, cool, so that was downstairs, now let's head upstairs. This was a interesting design to the house. I always thought it was kind of random when I first saw the house, and then my mom had the idea of putting plants in all of them. That made us like it a lot more, because at first we were like, should we just cover this up and make it a normal wall? I'm glad we didn't, because I love, I told you I love, love my plants. These are some of my favorite photos throughout the years. This has got to be the best one. This is me when I was three, four years old, before I started skating. I used to stack my random little toys on my board and uh, I would just push it around everywhere. Yeah, even, even before I skated, I was still hyped on it. One of my favorite tricks I've ever done right here, it's called the five-o grind and this spot is at UC Berkeley. Really sick rail, kinked rail, curves. My favorite thing to skate is like big stairs and rails. In California, it's pretty hilly, so you find a lot of big staircases. Dread jaw. If you guys don't know, I used to have dreads up until I was 16, and uh, I, was, I was known for the little guy with dreads out there shredding. This right here is the gym room. This is how I keep myself healthy and in shape. Probably the room I use the most in the house whenever I'm at home and I'm bored and I don't have anything to do. I've obviously battled it out with the injuries over the years. Skateboarding is very hard on the body. Got to stay healthy. Whenever I was out looking at houses, I was like always looking out for a good room for a gym. This one fit good for it. It could have been a little bigger, but I think I made pretty, pretty good use of the space. I mean, basically got all the necessary stuff I need in here. Here we got the guest room. Very nice for any of my friends who want to come stay over here. And uh, it was nice to be able to have this because my last house, there was no room for a guest room because I always had so many friends living there. I was definitely stoked to be able to dedicate a room that was actually nice for my friends to be able to stay in. The goats, the city brings them out. It's like 50 to 100 of them. And they bring them out to uh, eat up all the dried grass to um, help prevent fires. I didn't know that. And me and my buddies, like, I think we were out the night before, so we woke up and we were like hung over and we walk outside and there's just all these goats everywhere on my property. And we were so confused. We we're like, dude, what is happening? Later on, I figured out that there was actually a reason for it. <laughs> this is my room, which I absolutely love. We got this dream catcher sketchy thing right here. It's basically just all my style of stuff. You see a lot of skulls in here. I've always liked decorating my house with a lot of random skulls and stuff. This little guy's sick. The skull thing came about like over time. As soon as I started getting tattooed, I got a couple of them. I think that was the first one I got right there, like an eagle holding a skull. And it just kind of kept going over the years. And my friends always say that I have a little bit of a dark side to me. So I feel like I guess that kind of brings it out. They're always giving me shit about it. But yeah, this room is amazing. I love the way it turned out, but it was kind of a mission, especially with these curtains, because as you can see, the roofs are slanted. So it was super hard to figure out how to get these in. We had to build that like wood balance up there, which I actually love the way it turned out. I like the way it looks with it more than without it. This whole like view with like the open glass look and kind of how this room matches downstairs was really what sold me on the house. That painting, my buddy actually came here and did for me custom piece. He literally just like drips the paint on and somehow turns it into a, an amazing piece like that. It's pretty awesome. So right here's the bathroom. This is all completely changed, made it look a lot more modern style. Love this bathtub. I've only used it a couple times really, because um, I'm, I'm really not the type of person that relaxes a lot, you know, I'm always out doing stuff. My mom and our friend that was helping design, some of the stuff was literally just popping up in here throughout the past couple months. And I was like, dude, what's this, what's happening? But I mean, I don't mind it. <laughs> We're going for a very clean look, as you can see with the drain right here or the cutout right here where you put your stuff. I'm OCD, I like my stuff to all be very organized and clean looking, so it was nice to be able to remodel a house and keep all of that in mind. 
was hyped to be able to have a good sized closet. As you can see, I'm pretty organized. Get to have some of my favorite shoes right here. My favorite pair, I mean, obviously I'm gonna have to go with my shoes. Um, this was probably my favorite colorway yet. Uh, this was one of the first ones. Pretty good looking shoe right here. Go get a pair, Nike, Nike SBs. All right, that's it for the house. Stoked to show you guys around. And now I gotta go train, so we're gonna head over to my skate park. Let's get it. All right, so here we are, welcome to my skate park. This is where I come and shred with the boys and get some good training sessions in, practice my tricks, and stay on top of my game. Got the artwork over here. My buddy Mad Steez did it. Kind of went with the green and purple vibe in here. Bright colors, good vibes. So basically, I mean, you got most of your classic skate obstacles in here. Got a double set right here. This is the big side of the park. Got a, this you call the hubba ledge, kinked rail, gap out rail, step up right here. I was very involved with all the specific dimensions of everything and stuff because obviously I'm very experienced. I've been doing this for a while. And this right here is the most used obstacle in the park. Good size rail to learn all my tricks on and then take it to bigger obstacles in the streets or in contests and stuff. So this thing has helped me win a lot of stuff before. Transition section, flow around here, hit this thing. This thing's called a pyramid, classic skate park obstacle. And then you got your hip right there, do flip tricks over that. Got everything you need right here to stay on top of your game. When it came to picking this building, there really wasn't too many options around here. It's about 10,000 square feet, so it was a good size. It's got good high ceilings. You gotta make sure the poles aren't in the way of the obstacles, so you kinda gotta build around those. And the main thing when you pick the building is you gotta make sure it has good ground, good smooth ground. And uh, yeah, found a good spot and gonna have this place for at least a couple more years. I don't skate here every day. I don't really skate every day in general because I get so sore nowadays with injuries and stuff. I mean, the best thing is still skating outside in the streets uh, with your boys and that will always be the best, but uh, coming here and having a good place to come practice my tricks is definitely important. All right, thank you guys, AD, for checking out my house and my skate park. But now it's time to shred, so we'll catch you guys later.